I'm Keith Manger. Uh, I'm the laboratory manager of the Millennium Seed Bank, based here at Wakehurst Place in West Sussex. I also am the chair of the sustainability group. Q has had a seed bank here since the 1970s. We primarily conserve wild species. We currently have in the region of 60,000 collections and 31,000 species from 166 countries banked in the vaults beneath me. Wakehurst is one of the top tourist attractions in the area and as such there's an opportunity there to explain all of the good work of the Royal Botanic Gardens queue and educate people about plants and also aspects of conservation and environmental sustainability. My name's David Hickmott, I work for the Conservation and Technology section at the Millennium Seed Bank. I'm part of the Sustainability Group and I look after the Utility Tracker. The Utility Tracker keeps track of all of our water figures, electricity and gas. Uh, we compare these figures monthly and it enables us to pick up any anomalies and since the Sustainability Group has started we can see a good trend of our energy use is going down in all areas. I'm Ruth Eastwood, I'm a member of the Wakehurst Place Sustainability Committee. The whole of Q runs an ISO 14001 scheme, and so we have an environmental management system in place. I think staff involvement actually is really crucial and we, we wouldn't have made the decreases if the staff hadn't been on board. Down in the boiler room you saw the insulation on the pipe work which helps save energy. We've recently fitted uh, optimisers to the boilers. This has dramatically improved the oil boiler's efficiency and should pay back within 18 months. The boilers now switch off when they're not needed and they don't dry cycle. All of the refrigeration for our cold rooms all runs through one system that's linked together and that is a state-of-the-art refrigeration system and it self-controls. Each cold room uses less than one kilowatt of electricity per hour to run at minus 20, which is an exceptional statistic. Another project relating to the conversion of incubators to lower energy models, which are essential to us but are also very energy heavy. Each incubator, once converted, saves about 0.5 of a kilowatt per hour. We'll be installing voltage optimization, which takes our current electricity from 248 volts down to 220 volts. And this is guaranteed to save us 11% energy next year um, and will pay back within two years. We're now in the glass houses of the Millennium Seed Bank. The glass houses are in four units and in the winter we couldn't actually heat the hot units and in the summer we couldn't cool the cold ones. We proved this with thermal imagery. We've now reassessed and they're now set up as cold, hot, hot, cold. The boilers aren't working so hard, the plants are better at the end being cooler. We're also saving quite a lot of money. I'm Dave March and I'm responsible for the waste disposal of Wakers Place. And we're standing next to the food digester. We take the food waste from our restaurants at Wakehurst, roughly between 10 and 30 kilos a day. We add wood pellets to it to give it the nitrogen to help it break down. And it takes about three or four weeks to go through and comes out as beautiful compost. We collect up all the cardboard from the restaurant, from the learning programme, everywhere on the estate. We then compress it and it produces a bale of approximately half a tonne. So rather than us paying people to take our waste away, we're looking for people to pay us for our waste. This is Compost Corner. This is the centre of all our recycling operation. Everything comes in here. Green waste, lop and top, lawn mowings. This is our compost. This is produced last summer. We just make sure nothing goes in the landfill that can be recycled. The Millennium Seed Bank has an aspiration to run this project on renewable energy by 2020. The first stage in this has been fitting out part of the roof with photovoltaic panels. We have a 50 kilowatt peak array, that's 270 panels, fitted on one half of the roof. And this has been running now for about three or four weeks. And as you can see from the display, we've already produced one megawatt of sun's energy to run the project. But our biggest project, which is just in the planning phase, is for a 500 kilowatt wood chip boiler, uh, which will deliver 90% of the heating of the entire site. There are many initiatives you can undertake to reduce your carbon footprint, save you money and be greener.